Hi, how you doing? It's uh, me, Don Winter, and uh, I was I wanted to show you something that I thought was pretty cool. Um, we all know that from you know from from back when we were in, in, in school in seventh grade or science class that when you burn uh, uh, gasoline in a car, it creates carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, and it goes into the atmosphere and uh, uh, off it goes. When it's in the atmosphere, trees take that carbon dioxide out of the air through the process of photo photosynthesis and, uh, and then release the oxygen back into the air. So what happens to the carbon? The carbon is turned into wood. It just so happens what I have here in my hand is a piece of teak from Panama Teak Forestry. And this, this particular piece of teak is you can see it's about that long and it's about inch wide inch thick and it weighs five and a half pounds now a piece of teak this big represents exactly the amount of carbon dioxide uh, that is removed from the air 19 pounds of carbon dioxide and when you burn one gallon of gasoline you're producing 19 pounds of carbon dioxide into the environment you go wait a minute let me uh, let me just cover briefly the idea of uh, the weights um, you might think how how is it that if I burn one gallon of gas in a car and I, and I know how much a gallon of gas weighs it doesn't weigh 19 pounds how come that produces 19 pounds of carbon dioxide in the environment well because in the combustion process the carbon combines with oxygen and then it has a higher molecular weight so it weighs more and off you go so that's how it's measured then you take that 19 pounds of carbon dioxide back out of the air and you produce five and a half pounds of carbon and then you release the oxygen off into the atmosphere and off you go it's a good thing so uh that's that's the weights the uh you can see the nice uh the nice colors of the wood it has the uh, the heartwood in it and the sapwood on the outsides. Um, this is the teak grown on the plantations in in Panama uh, by Panama Teak Forestry. Uh, Panama Teak Forestry uh, currently has um, about 550 hectares planted with teak. Uh, their holdings are a total of 750 hectares or so. Of that, 550 is planted. Um, and so far they've already planted more than half a million trees. Um, so all of those teak trees are out there happily growing, uh, sequestering carbon out of the air, turning it into wood, which is a valuable commodity. And uh, it's also good for the environment, it's good for the atmosphere, and it's a profitable way to do something nice for the air that we all breathe. Uh, ah, there was there was one more thing that I wanted to add in all of this. This particular, or any, any chunk of teak, happens to be a valuable commodity. This is not free. If you want to buy teak, if you want to make teak furniture, teak furniture is some of the most highly uh, uh, expensive. It's, it's used for outdoor furniture. Teak is used for decking materials, for flooring materials. It's used for boats and marine applications. <laughs> It's a, it's a tropical hardwood. It's very, uh, very good for outdoor use. It's like the best wood for, for doing stuff outdoors. Um, so what's the point on, the, on all of this? Uh, what's the point on all of this environmental stuff? Okay, so trees take oxygen, you know, to take, trees take carbon dioxide out of the air, turn it into, turn it into, uh, turn it into wood and release the oxygen. Okay, we all know that. But here's the point. You can make money doing this doing this growing teak it is a it, it, it's it's a part of the business that allows you to do something which is good for the environment so if, if you if you've read my website if you've read the stuff that I talk about over time when it comes to environmental issues I think you can do both I think that you should be able to find a way that's good things for the environment but it's also, it also makes sense from a business point of view. Okay, let's all go volunteer and go down and clean up the beach. Have you gone back to the beach three days later, it's covered with crap again. It makes you feel good, but you're not really doing anything. With this, doing, doing this kind of an investment, 
you are doing something that is good for the environment. It's actually doing something. It's not just doing something, it's doing a lot. And it's sustainable and you can keep it up forever. I mean, we can plant more trees. When the, the, the trees take 25 years to mature, at the end of that maturation process, they're harvested. What do you do? Plant more trees. You immediately plant more and you're actually cutting down 260 mature trees, then you plant 1,100 new ones when on, the, on, the, on, the new th on, the, on the plot. So it's the growing teak in a plantation is sustainable, it's renewable, and you can do it forever. It takes 25 years for a teak tree to, to reach its full maturity when it's harvested. Uh, this, this particular chunk of wood comes from a tree out of a 12-year thinning. So this tree, when it was cut down, it was 12 years old. You, re, you can see here it's got like maybe a knot in it. It's not, um, you know, it's not, um, this, this tree was selected for removal because it was not the best, um, the best of the lot. So it was thinned out and to give the other trees a, a chance to continue to grow and to mature. Um, but the point is that you can you can make money doing this. Okay, you're not you're not just doing something that, that is a feel good thing. It's it's re it's sustainable. It's renewable, and you're sequestering. It's 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 good for the atmosphere, and teak is a valuable commodity. So it, it combines the environmental. This is why I love this stuff because it combines the environmental aspects. It's good for the environment. It's great for the environment. And it's also something that you can, if you look at it from a, just a, a cold-hearted investor point of view, I don't care about the environment, I just want to make money. Okay, so go ahead. I mean, <laughs> you can do both. You can, you can make money on this. Um, and you're also doing something that's good for the environment. If you're um, completely on the other way, it's like, I don't, you know, don't, I just want to do something that's good for the environment. Um, well, then you can do this as well. If you'd like more information, feel free to go to the Panama Teak Forestry website, which is panamanteakforestry.com. Uh, here's a link to a, uh, an article that I published on my website about investing in, uh, in teak and in Panama Teak Forestry. Um, here's a link to a YouTube video. Uh, and if you didn't have, get time to, to, to write another going by quick, you can always just hit pause on the video and uh, punch the address into another, uh, to another window. And of course, you can always send me an email if you'd like more information. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.